I'm doing the first week of exercises in the artist's way. This right here. So what I'm learning is I never got this far. <laughs> I didn't, I thought I got a few weeks into the program, but I'm doing things that I've never remembered doing. Remember I said I got this book years and years ago and I started working on it, but I never really even got into the first week. And I think what got me, what was pausing me, was the morning pages, which I talked about. It's three pages of handwritten journaling each day to let your mind flush itself and to, to create new ideas and, and uh, just awaken things inside of you. And I think that just became so daunting to me. I didn't think it was, I, I, I was, it was taking me so long to do it. I just didn't do anything else. And I just put the book on the shelf and, and left it for almost a decade. So, I'm doing the things that it's asking me to do, and it's really quite fascinating. It's asking to recall people in my past who have put me down in the sense of art, as in, like, you shouldn't be doing this, there are better things you should be doing with your life. So recalling those different things, and recalling also people in my life who have been champions of my art. And going through these ideas and these past experiences has awakened things inside of me and, and I've realized that art cannot be contained. This was a big epiphany for me because what I'm understanding is that there's always going to be creative ex expression. Not just in artists, but in everyone. But particularly in artists, we have this need to create to be creative, to do creative things. And if that is stunted somehow, if it's prevented from happening, whether it's from external experiences, people outside of us, or our own selves, the art is always going to need to get out. No matter what you do, it needs to get out. So if people are stopping you and they're preventing you, it's gonna make your health decline. Because what's happening is your body needs to create. That energy comes through you and it needs to express. It needs to come out somehow. So if you're not doing it, if you're not creating, if you're not doing the art, then what's going to happen is your life is going to turn in a direction that is not very pleasant for you. And your health is going to decline because it can't do what it's designed to do, what it's trying to do, what it wants to do. It just doesn't happen. So you may end up with health issues. You may end up with addictions. You may end up not living anymore simply because you were not able to express or someone was preventing you from fully expressing how you need to be. I know for myself, there were a few people in my life who said, well, maybe you shouldn't be doing that kind of stuff. There are better things to do. But for me, mainly, it was inside of me. It was my own limitations, my own fears, and my own insecurities that prevented me from doing any of the creative things that I wanted to do. I had so many great, huge, wonderful ideas of things that I wanted to create in this world for entertainment, for art, and I never really did any of them. And my life suffered, my health suffered. Yeah, I went into holistic health so I could learn about health, but really the underlying issues was always because I was not expressing my creativity. That is the path that I'm on, and that is the path I'm going to continue on. I need to do this, I want to do this, and I want you to do this with me. So join me uh, next week and we'll see what happens. But I'm glad you're here, and I hope something really great happens for you today. Bye-bye.